In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix wing shoulder blades using no equipment. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over the three main culprits of wing shoulder blades or scapula, which are tight pec minor muscles, tight levator scapula, and a weak serratus anterior. Make sure to go through all three parts if you're looking to get the best results. As a bonus, all these exercises can be done at home, don't require any special equipment, and may give quick results, even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix those wing shoulder blades right now. In the first part, we're going to focus on an overactive tight pectoralis minor muscle right here at the top part of the chest. One of the easiest ways to be able to isolate and stretch that muscle out is with an exercise known as a Y stretch. And we just need a door frame for this, so I do hope you have that. Let's start by going right up to a door frame, putting our feet together, arms are going to go straight at the elbow, we're going to reach towards the ends of the door frame. So our hands and arms are forming a Y shape. From there, I'm going to do a chin or head retraction. That is bringing the head back just like this very slightly to put it into better posture. From there, I'm just going to lean into the door frame with my body weight. The more that I lean into it, the more that you're going to feel that pec minor get a very good stretch. You should really feel it right up here, so focus on that. Lean forward as much as you're able to. Once you hit a very comfortable stretch, let's hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. From there, just come back a little bit, relax, and then you're going to repeat this up to five times. With each repetition, drive forward even more because it's only going to help stretch that pec minor muscle out even further. You can also do this on one side if you would like a little bit of a deeper stretch. So start off with one arm up like this and then you're just going to lean forward even more. Really focus again on stretching that pec minor muscle at the top part of the chest. 20 to 30 second holds, relax, repeat for five times, and whatever you do on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So a big cause of wing shoulder blades is because of a tight levator scapula. When that gets tight, it tends to draw us forward in the upper back across the shoulder blades, giving that winged appearance. Here's a very easy exercise that you can do pretty much anywhere. You can do it standing or seated. What I'm going to do is start off by just bending one side's elbow just like this. Let's take the other side's hand, place it right underneath the arm, lift that elbow up towards the ceiling as much as you can. Take the hand on the bent elbow side and really reach down in between the upper back, right in between the shoulder blades, as much as you can. Once we hit that point, what we're going to do is turn our head in the other side's direction. So if my right side is up, I'm going to look all the way over towards my left shoulder as much as I can. Already, you should feel a very good deep stretch into the neck. Really focus on that. The next part, let's look down towards that side's armpit, so the left armpit right here. This will really intensify that stretch. So what we want to do is really try to go down as much as we can. Once we hit that comfortable stretch, let's hold this for 20 to 30 seconds. If you need to make this a little bit stronger, what you can do is take your hand, place it on the back side of the head, and then just pull down towards that armpit even more. That will intensify the stretch, but again, only to your comfort level. You want to do that for 20 to 30 second holds, relax, repeat up to five times. And each time you do it, always try to stretch into it just a little bit more to challenge that muscle to hopefully to get it to release just a little bit more. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. In this part, we're going to focus on the big instigator of wing shoulder blades, which is a weakened serratus anterior. The serratus anterior lies right off to the side of the thorax, right across the ribs, right underneath the pec and chest muscles. So during these exercises, make sure to really focus on activating it right through here. This is a three-part exercise that's very easy and very effective at isolating the serratus anterior and hopefully help to strengthen it. The first one, what I'm going to use is an everyday hand-drying towel. You can use something like a paper plate or a t-shirt also. Let's go right next to a door or a wall and place that towel right in front of it. I'm going to take one hand, place it just like this, palm side towards the door, and press in to it to activate those muscles. We want to get pretty close to the door. The key is to press into this as much as we can. When you do this, you should already start to feel it activate off to the side. This is how we're going to really isolate that serratus anterior. I'm going to then slowly start to raise the towel up by straightening my arm out. We don't want to bend the body up to lift it up. We want to focus on only shoulder into the elbow, straightening that arm. Go very, very slowly and go up as far 
as you're able to go. From here, let's hold it for a second. And again, you should really definitely feel it into that serratus anterior by doing this. We're going to then slowly come back down. It should take you a couple seconds to go all the way up, a couple seconds to come all the way down. Do this for 10 to 15 complete repetitions. With each repetition, press into it even more and try to lift this up even further. And when you're done on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. In the second part, I'm going to face the door or the wall. So I'm going to press my body from my hips all the way to my head flush against that door. You can angle your legs out straight, feet together, and press back into it for a stable anchor point. Let's take our arms and just place them off to the side just like this, straight at the elbow. I'm going to make a fist with my hands, and then I'm going to do a hitchhiker sign like this, but our thumbs are going to be pointing away from us. The movement from here is very easy. What I'm going to do is lift my arms up straight to the point where the thumbs are going to then come back towards the wall or the door. When you do this, again, you should really start to feel it right there in that serratus anterior. Try to focus on that. But if you don't have the flexibility to be able to touch the, your thumbs towards the wall, that is completely normal. With each repetition, just focus on trying to stretch into it even more. But you want to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 to 15 complete repetitions. In the third part, we're going to do what is known as a wall or door angel. The movement, again, very easy. Let's start off in the same position with our body weight completely flush against the door. And from there, I'm going to make a field goal with my hands, just like this. So my elbows are bent at 90 degrees. Let's take the elbows towards the door as much as we can. Really challenge yourself on this. It should feel like the shoulder blades are activating and they're starting to pinch together. The chest will also start to open up. Once we hit that position, we're going to slowly start to raise our elbows and hands up towards the ceiling to the point where our hands are going to overlap and clap. Let's hold this for a couple seconds and then slowly come back down. On the next repetition, try to drive those elbows back even further to activate those muscles and then do this one nice and slow for 10 to 15 complete repetitions. From there, relax, take a breather, and then do that complete cycle, that complete combination for three to five times. Really, again, focusing on that serratus anterior. Here is a great two-part exercise that's really going to target that serratus anterior. The first exercise is known as a serratus anterior rock back. This is best done on the floor. I'm going to start off on all fours, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath your knees for extra comfort. Let's bend the elbows like this to the point where we can rest comfortably on our forearms. Our elbows are going to be bent slightly away from us. Hands are going to just interlock like this. Let's start off by taking our chin towards our chest as much as we can. From there, what I'm going to do is press my upper body weight from my elbows into the floor as much as I can. This will help isolate that serratus anterior. Let's rock backwards with our body. So while we're pressing down into the floor with our forearms and elbows, what I'm going to do is slowly take my butt towards my heels. The more that you do this, take the body weight backwards, the more that you're going to feel it activate right through here into that serratus anterior. So really focus on that. Once we hit a great activation of that muscle, let's hold this for five seconds. From there, you're just going to rock back forward, take a breather, and then repeat this for 10 to 15 complete repetitions. On the second part, we're going to take it to the next level by doing what is called a dolphin press. So what I'm going to do from here is stay in this position where my elbows are bent like this, but I'm going to go into a plank position by straightening my legs and then putting my weight onto my toes. From here, I'm going to tuck the chin towards the chest as much as I can, and then I'm going to rock my body backwards again but this time what I'm trying to do is lift my butt up towards the ceiling and really trying to take my head down towards the floor as much as I can this will really activate a lot of muscles but really try to feel it through the serratus anterior off to the side once we hit a very good activation of that muscle let's hold this for about five seconds relax and then repeat this up to 10 to 15 times afterwards you can take a breather and then repeat that cycle for three complete sets. With this exercise, we're going to focus a little bit more on one-sided issues. So if you have just a wing shoulder on one side, definitely give this a try. We just need a wall or a door. I'm going to assume a plank position. That is, I'm going to space my feet away from that door, put them together so I can lean into the door just like this. My body should be at a slight tilt. My elbows are going to be bent. My upper body weight is going to be placed from the forearms into the door just like this. Just take your fingers, interlock the hands. 
From here, what I want to do is then focus more on the side that I'm having issues. Let's say that I have a lot of winging going on on the right side. I'm going to take that right forearm and I'm going to press my body weight from the elbow forearm into the door during this exercise at all times. So really challenge yourself to press into it as much as you can with your body weight. The opposite side we're going to take off. So if we're focusing on the right, I'm going to take my left arm off like this and then slowly turn my body towards the left while I press into the door as much as I can with that right arm. Go into rotation with this. Try to turn the body as much as you can. The more that you do, the more it's going to activate that serratus anterior and the muscles around that shoulder blade. Focus on that. Once we hit a very good, strong activation of those muscles, let's hold this for five seconds. From there, you're going to come back take a breather, and then you're just going to simply repeat this one. On the next repetition, again, try to drive your body weight into the door even more and try to rotate your body away from it as much as you can. You want to do this for 10 to 15 complete repetitions. And I always do recommend that whatever you do on one side, you always do on the other, but it's just a good way to really focus on one side and hopefully correct that winged shoulder blade. If the video helped, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.